Hi, this is Graphically Alex coming at you with all things fat related. If that's something that interests you, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Today, the witch hat is out because I'm going to have a little bit of a hot take. Just a touch. Just a touch. Why? Because I think that this TikTok is a really, really great example of a complete lack of self-awareness in the fat acceptance community. And so I want to highlight it. So we're going to quickly highlight this. I'm going to comment my thoughts on certain things of what she's saying in this TikTok. Um, the way it's going to work is I'm going to go ahead and let it play all the way through and then we're going to break it down. Okay, so we're going to do that format for this video. So let's let her go. I'm going to tell you guys the best piece of advice I ever received as a young woman. My grandma was really, really sick. We didn't know she was going to make it. She was in the hospital. I came up there to visit. We weren't very close. And honestly, my grandma was pretty mean. Like, my grandma didn't really like me. She had an attitude. Everybody knows. Anyways, we were talking and we were, you know, I was just coming into, like, womanhood. And I was 19. And we were, you know, just talking about life. And she was telling me about things that I had never really had an opportunity to hear before. And she's talking to me on basically what we thought would be her deathbed. And she told me don't get married young. Whatever you do, do not get married young. And I think part of this is that she lived in a Mormon town. And so even though she wasn't Mormon, there was a huge influence in this community to get married at 18, 19 years old. And I think as a young woman, she knew that if I did that, I would end up sacrificing my autonomy, my education, my future, just being able to develop into the person that I want to be, that I truly deserve to be, you know? And she was so fucking right, you guys. I don't know, like, what in me decided to just take that piece of advice, but here I am, 32 years old. I, I still don't want a husband. People ask all the time when my boyfriend's going to propose all the time we went to a funeral a couple weeks ago everybody was like when are you gonna get her a ring when are you gonna get her a ring and i'm like i'll stop you right there i don't want to be anybody's fucking wife i don't want to be anybody's wife that's not for me because i feel like marriage benefits men you guys marriage ain't for no woman marriage is not for a woman it is a fucking scam you want you want a good future go to school invest in yourself start a business do things to build yourself up because a man a man is gonna come and go a man ain't gonna long term a man's not gonna do shit for you married or not you gotta you gotta invest in yourself anyways that's my tidbit that's my best piece of advice my grandma ever gave me i hope it helps somebody else do not do not end up marrying the person you're with when you're like 17, okay? 17, 18, 19. Wait for your frontal lobe to finish developing because I swear to God, you are gonna, you're gonna settle for way less than you're worth. Way less than you're worth. I'm gonna tell you guys the best piece of advice I- Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw any weirdness in that, any contradictions, anything, but I'm gonna break it down. We're going to break it down now, okay? So I'm going to just... <sighs> the witch hat is out. It's out, okay? So I did not like this TikTok for a lot of different reasons. Uh, as far as actually getting married young or old, hun, it's your life. It really depends on your circumstances. It depends on who you're with. It depends on who you are. It depends on your values. It depends on so many different things. I am not here to judge if somebody gets married young, if somebody gets married older, if somebody doesn't get married at all. I personally think that is just a life choice thing. I would not push somebody one way or the other. So already I think the entire purpose of this is stupid because everybody's different. Everybody has a different path in terms of marriage. So this is just done. It works out for some people. Some people, it doesn't work out. It is what it is. It's way too individual to make blanket statements like this, in my opinion. You know? So anyways, let's start there. But let's go ahead and continue. I ever received as a young woman. My grandma was really, really sick. We didn't know she was going to make it. She was in the hospital. I came up there to visit. We weren't very close. And honestly, my grandma was pretty mean. Like, my grandma didn't really like me. She had an attitude. Everybody knows. Anyways, we were so it's very interesting that you felt like it was the super wise statement when she didn't even like you. She was really nasty to you. 
I find that interesting. You know, I feel like if somebody doesn't like you and is nasty, maybe they're trying to sabotage you a little bit. I would just be wary of that personally. That's something that I would personally not necessarily trust right out the gate. Okay. So I find that interesting. We were talking and we were, you know, I was just coming into like womanhood and I was 19 and we were, you know, just talking about life and she was telling me about things that I had never really had an opportunity to hear before. And she's talking to me on basically what we thought would be her deathbed. And she told me, don't get married young. Whatever you do, do not get married young. And I think part of this is that. So I think what's weird is it doesn't seem like there was any exchange as to why not i wish that she could have asked her grandma why and her grandma could have tried to explain it it sounds as if she assumed the meaning of it which is weird so i don't know that she lived in a mormon town and so even though she wasn't mormon there was a huge influence in this community to get married at 18 19 years old and i think as a young woman yes and in some circumstances there's a huge influence to not get married or to get married older, like what you're pushing. Again, let's not act like you're not pushing for a certain position. I don't like that a lot in FA where they act like they're not pushing for something when they always are. But I digress. She knew that if I did that, I would end up sacrificing my autonomy, my education, my future. Just Okay, so this part is already weird to me, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but can you not get an education if you're married? Can you not have a future if you're married? Can you not have autonomy if you're married? Like, I feel like these are not necessarily this or that things within a marriage. I think it's very case by case, and I think there's so much weird projection going into what a marriage is. Honestly, like there are good marriages, there are bad marriages, there's mediocre marriages, right? Like there are, there's all different kinds of marriages. And to me, it's like, I don't know that every single marriage automatically doesn't have any autonomy. Every single marriage, you can't have an education. Like, I don't know. It's really trippy to me. I don't know. We're going to get to the biggest contradiction later. Just being able to develop into the person that I want to be, that I truly deserve to be, you know? I think there's something to be said if you really have no clue who you are, which a lot of people don't when they're like 19 or something, you know? But at the end of the day, there are a lot of parts of us that are pretty hardwired. There's a lot of us, like a lot of parts of ourselves that we know even as a child, that kind of run through. For example, I myself, I have always been disagreeable from a young age all the way till today. You know, there are certain things. I've always been introverted from being a young child all the way till today. There, I've always been relatively independent, right? I've always been creative. I've always been all these different things. Yes, some things changed in my 20s. Absolutely. But to be honest, most of what changed in my 20s was me getting over toxic patterns and toxic behaviors. It wasn't so much about finding myself in as much as it was about stripping away all the BS and all the messages from society that I had internalized that were not helpful or useful at all. Messages like this is it's not very useful. It's a lot of projection, in my opinion. But we haven't gotten to the FA point. We're going to keep going. And she was so fucking right, you guys. I don't know, like, what in me... She was right for you. Okay decided to just take that piece of advice but here I am 32 years old I, I still don't want a husband people ask all the time when my boyfriend's gonna propose all the time we went to a funeral a couple weeks ago everybody was like when are you gonna get her a ring when are you gonna get her a ring and I'm like I'll stop you right there I don't want to be anybody's fucking wife 
Do you want a cookie? I don't understand this too. This is like one of those things where it's like, let me act like I accomplished something by not doing something. You didn't accomplish anything by not getting married. It's fine. Like I said, I'm not judging not getting married, but I'm like, do you want a cookie? What do you want from me? Who cares? You made it to 32 and you didn't get married. I guess big fucking whoop. I don't get it. Do you guys get it? But do you think that there's a lot of just this like attention seeking or like approval seeking within fat acceptance? Like what do you think is going on to make somebody make this video? It's very weird. I don't want to be anybody's wife. That's not for me. Because I feel like marriage benefits men, you guys. Marriage ain't for no woman. Marriage is not for a woman. It is a fuck. I think you need to define what a marriage is. I don't think you, I don't know. Like, I don't know what your definition of a marriage is. And I, I think that that's where we're kind of losing it here. But whatever. Fucking scam. You want, you want a good future? Go to school. I went to school. It didn't help me at all. So I, what I feel like people need to understand and what I will say to the girly pops that are young or to anybody who's young, really, school is not a guarantee. It isn't. You can go to school and it can be a huge flop. You cannot go to school and it can be a huge flop. You can get married and it can be a flop. There is no such thing as a sure path to life. There's always curveballs. There's always things that you're not going to be able to predict that occur. There's always a, a well-intentioned plan and the things that come up that screw it up. That's life. And most of the time when we're living life, we are just simply figuring out what to do because the plan isn't working. And that's what life is. <laughs> it's figuring out what to do when the plan isn't working, period. That's something that I wish I could have understood in my 20s is that you don't know anything. You don't know what's going to happen. So you have to kind of just make your best choices at the time and do the best you can and hope to God it works out because there are plenty of people who go to school and it does work out, but there are plenty of people who go to school and it doesn't work out. And that needs to be talked about too. It's not a sure thing. Nothing is a sure thing. Don't think about it in terms of like, this is a sure path to success. It's not. That doesn't exist. Invest in yourself. Start a business. Do Invest in yourself. Now, this is where the bitchitude is coming out. Do you think that being a healthy weight is an investment in yourself? Do you think that being healthy is an investment in yourself? Or do you think just being hugely fat is an investment? What makes more sense? What is the hypocrisy in that? Because when she said that, I was like, what? 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 Do things to build yourself up because a man but not take care of your health. Not take care of your health. Do things to build yourself up because a man, a man is gonna come and go. A man ain't gonna, long term, a man's not gonna do shit for you. I don't necessarily agree. I think not all men are gonna do shit for you. Not all men will come and go, right? It depends on the man, just as it depends on the woman. It depends on compatibility. Typically, the biggest issues in relationships come down to compatibility. And honestly, the best advice I could give for a young girly pop is be honest with yourself when somebody is incompatible with you. That is one of the biggest issues I see is that girls they cannot accept that a guy is not compatible. And I have been guilty of this before. I have. I've been very guilty of this. 
and it can be a little tricky. Sometimes we think certain things are important to us and they're not. Sometimes we think other things are important to us or aren't important to us and they are. Sometimes you can even need or want different things at different points in your life. Life is messy. We cannot always predict things. But usually relationship issues at their core come down to compatibility problems. So if you're not compatible with somebody, you have to be willing to let it go. Because if you are compatible, it's just like gravity. It's not difficult. One of the biggest things I noticed, like somebody I knew, she was very, very, very into spending all her time with her man. And most of the guys that she dated, they all didn't like it. They're like, she's too clingy. I need my space. I need time on my own. Don't talk to me all the time. Blah, 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 right? But she found somebody who was just as clingy as her. And they have done amazing. You know, a lot of, it, it comes down to compatibility. So it's just about, honestly, radical self-honesty, which is difficult, is very hard because we aren't all roses and sunshine inside. There are certain negative traits that we have that maybe we don't want to see or maybe certain things that don't align up with societal expectation that maybe we don't want to see. Or maybe the internet is going out <laughs> and we don't want to see it, you know? <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys the best. <laughs> One second, you guys. Okay, we're back. So I will say this part was interesting and this part I agree. A man ain't going to, long term, a man's not going to do shit for you. In terms of your health. Ah, you see what I did there? There's no man in the world that can save you from your health issues, especially health issues that you caused, but also health issues in general. But if you're causing them with your behavior, with your diet, with all these different things, if you're creating preventable health issues, I can assure you that also will cause so many issues in a relationship that can be avoided. Trust me, I say this, I scream it from the rooftops, okay? I don't want any girly or boily to ever make the mistakes that I did, ever, by not taking care of my health. Because trust me, a man can never save you from your own, your own issues be they mental health issues, be they physical health issues, any of these toxic patterns or anything, a man cannot save you from that. You've got to figure it out. You cannot depend on him for that. Trust me on that one. Take care of your health. It is so important. Because yeah, sure, while you're dating, while you're trying to find the person that you want to be with, Guys, sometimes will come and go, but you you investing in your health, that is one of the most important things. That's one of the biggest things. And again, maybe you could still have an uncontrollable health issue that comes down that comes up down the line. But you know what I can tell you? Being obese, being morbidly, super morbidly obese, it will always make the problem worse. It always escalates the issues, no matter what they are. So don't throw your health in the trash. You need to take care of your health. And I do notice a lot of girls don't. And it's not okay. You're not going to be able to function as well. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to be able to make a relationship work nearly as well if you're not taking care of your health. And if you do pursue a family, a career, a combination of the two, you've got to have your health. You've got to nurture it, take care of it. It's so important. And I just, I will agree that a man cannot save you in that area. 
you've got to take care of yourself. Okay, let's see what else she has to say and if I have anything else to say. Married or not, you gotta, you gotta invest in yourself. Invest in your health, married or not. That's a great, great advice. I'm gonna just gaslight myself into thinking that that's what she's saying. And with that, I would agree. Anyways, that's my tidbit. That's my best piece of advice my grandma ever gave me. I hope it helps somebody else. Do not, do not end up marrying the person you're with when you're like 17, okay? 17, 18, 19. Wait for your frontal lobe to finish developing because I swear to God, you are gonna, you're gonna settle for way less than you're worth. I don't know because you're 32 and you're still settling with being fat, being very over, very obese. So I don't know. I don't know if I would listen to your advice on that. But what I will say is take care of your health. It's really, really, really important. Please. It's partially why I make this channel. I would say that's probably the biggest reason I make this channel is because I want to warn you to not do what I did. Don't live in a delusion that it's okay to live with toxic ritualistic behaviors, that you can make a relationship work, that you can just go along not prioritizing your health. I had to prioritize my health for almost, gosh, for almost four years because I didn't take care of it throughout my teen years, throughout my 20s. I had to focus on it for really three and a half years to get to a point where I feel like I'm going to be okay in my next relationship. You don't want to have to do that. Please take care of yourself all along the way. Because no matter what your goals are, no matter where you're headed in life, no matter what you want out of life, having the best shot at your health is going to help you more than you know. And absolutely, you cannot depend on a man for that. Period. Thank you guys so much for listening. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.